Several state and local court officials have been removed from a federal lawsuit filed by people who claim North Carolina's e-court system led to their unlawful arrest or extended time, time in jail. Court documents provide new detail related to around 60 people who claim they were held in jail too long in the first weeks of the e-court's rollout in Mecklenburg County. All right, so to give you more context on this, the system has actually been blamed for a list of other issues, including problems with DMV records. And this week, the state administrative office of the courts and three county clerks were dropped from the suit without prejudice. So claims now remain against Mecklenburg County Sheriff Gary McFadden. Queen City News Chief Legal Analyst Khalif Rose joins us now. And Khalif, could we see some new lawsuits come out of this? I mean, you can. I mean, even this lawsuit, the, the, the attorneys that representing them says you can always demand. And so mm -hmm. most of the time what happens if you recognize that you have deficiencies in your claim, you could say, listen, I'll take a voluntary withdrawal of this claim and then go back and file. You can always do that. I mean, these, these claims are new. It's not like something that happened 20 years ago. You're talking about recent incidents. And so if you recognize that, okay, I may not have all the facts right. Let me go ahead and dismiss a couple individuals and allow the people that are rightfully filed in there to do it. But this falls within what they teach you in law school. Sue everybody and figure out where the chips may fail. <laughs> and so, I mean, you got to figure out who is at, at fault here because you have individuals that are in the jail. So you're going to sue the sheriff. You're going to have a system that was implemented by a company. So you sue the company. Then you have a decision maker to implement the system. So you sue the AOC and you sue, sue the clerk of court. There's a number of people that they're attempting to sue. And then you've recognized that, okay, maybe I didn't get all my facts right. So that's why you have a number of people that have been removed. But I'm intimate connected to most of this because mm. I had when February what they're talking about I had clients that were arrested during that time and they were arrested and because they rolled out a new addition to the system it wasn't just Mecklenburg County's rollout is when they added about four or five other counties what happened is everything kind of went haywire right. and so I had guys that were arrested and the system showed they weren't arrested some folks were detained like longer than they were supposed to and so that system being re you know implemented through everything. All right. So since you're acutely aware of this case and what should happen, who should be held responsible? I mean, now that they're taking people off of this, I mean, would it be the software company or would it be the counties? It's a couple places that I will look, but probably the software company is where it ultimately lies. I mean, when I mention that sue everybody and find out where the chips lie, typically you're trying to figure out who has the biggest bank. Mm. Who can I sue and get the biggest payout from? And typically that would be a, comp a state. And then after that would be a company, unless you're talking about a Google or an Apple or a Tesla. But I could say on the other side, I'm also aware as being the former chief magistrate, when I was there, we implemented a new system. And that system was had problems talking to an old system. Mm -hmm. So when they talked about rolling out this new e-portal system, I asked the folks there and they said, well, now we're trying to make 16 to 17 different programs all talk to each other and right. through one platform. And because that's going to be hard because you're implementing systems from the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s, yeah, problems are expected. Delays to people's detention is not expected. Well, hopefully that they'll get this all thing sorted out real quick and everything will be smooth and not too many more losses. I don't know about yeah. smooth, but it hopefully gets sorted out. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like there's like a part two to this that so we need to be able to continue this conversation. I'm here for it. I appreciate it. We